Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how to connect and interact with MongoDB, a NoSQL database in Rust. So let's get started. First of all, we'll spin up a Docker container with a MongoDB image for our instance of our DB to interact with. And let's get started. So first of all, I'll open the terminal and here if I do Docker PS, as you can see, I don't have any container running. So let's clear this and we'll just do docker run minus t in detached and any name if you want to. So I'll just name it as mongodb instance minus p to bind the ports. So we'll just bend it on to 7017 to 7017 and then we'll just say mongo latest. So as you can see, it prints a uh, uh, ID. So if I do docker ps there you go as you can see the container is up and running so let's get started we'll just clear this close the terminal go to cargo terminal and here first of all we'll add a dependency which is mongo db with the latest version another one that we need is tokyo for our async programming so we'll just add tokyo with features as full and now I'll just build it but if you are using any other ID just use cargo add mongodb and cargo add tokyo command to add the dependencies to your project once the dependencies are added we'll close our cargo terminal file and move to our main so first of all on the top we will do async and create our main as tokyo main and now here first of all we'll try to connect to our mongodb instance so we'll say let client options client options parse and here we'll pass our url so it's mongodb localhost and the port to which we bend now in my case the instance is running on localhost but for you, if it's running somewhere else, just add the URL, await, and so we have our client options. And also, because this might panic and raise an error, so we have to add it as a result of none or unit and MongoDB error error. So it can raise mongodb error because we are just throwing away errors because i'm just trying to teach you guys how to connect so we'll just, just say let client and then we'll create the client and with options and here we will say pass our client options so we have our client and now let's go ahead and we'll do let db is equals to client dot database and we have to pass the name of the db now here you can pass any name of the database so if your database does not exist it will just go ahead and create the database and return you the instance to talk to so let's say i am creating a database named as uh, let's say my db and once we have our database will create a collection so we'll say d let collection is equals to db dot collection so same with this if exist it will return otherwise it will create and return so we'll just say users so let's say i'm creating a collection with name as users and now we'll insert some database uh, some data so we'll say let result is equals to collection dot insert one there are different other methods like insert many and uh, insert so you can try but i'll just use insert one for now and then we can use so doc to create a document and inside this document i'll add name as jack and age as let's say 30 so here we'll just say none so any insert options that you want to give any uh, options that you want to apply but I'm just doing in the insert for now so I'll just do await and 
once the insert is done we want to print insert date document and id of the document and then we also want to print the inserted result or result dot insert id also let's give it like this okay now we will go ahead and try to read this so what we'll do is since we have a collection instance here so we'll just say let mutable cursor is equals to collection dot find and any specific filter that we want to apply but for now i will just say none and none and await and now here since we get the cursor what i will do is while let okay result is equals to cursor dot advance dot await so basically we'll just iterate over the cursor and try to get uh, the next document every time so what we'll do is we'll do match of result and here at the end just to end we'll just return unit so the error goes away and we can wrap it in ok of unit since it's a result so we'll just say ok and then the unit so that's what we did error is gone now let's continue with our coding so here if there is next document available we'll just get as result as true so when we get true we will try to print it so we'll do match cursor dot deserialize current and if it's a ok doc we'll go ahead and do print ln and then we'll just print the document and if it's an error then we'll just print ln or we'll just do e print and here we'll just print our error similarly if it's a false So if our iteration returns false while we are iterating over it, the cursor dot advance return false meaning there are no more documents. So we'll just go ahead and print end of documents. And once we have that, one more thing is let's use also the drop db function. So what we'll do is we'll just do here db dot drop again if you can pass any uh, database drop options i'll just pass as none await and let's go so basically what i'm why i'm doing this is because the container is continuously running so every time you will uh, run this app it will insert and the next time you run it will insert again so basically records keep on growing so just for that i use drop and also one of the functions that i wanted to show you guys again there are different other functions that you can try uh, there are a list there are different others so let's get started and test it actually before we test it we just missed one last thing which is after it's ended and there is nothing else left we should break out otherwise it will be recursive and continue to run so basically i want to break out of this while loop so i think it's pretty much ready now just open your terminal and here we'll just do cargo run quite let's see okay so here as you can see first it prints inserted document and gives us the object id which we printed somewhere here and then it prints the result basically fetching the documents and printing the details and it's inserted twice because i just run it twice let's just run it once so now it will print once because we are we have a drop here as well so basically it will delete the database so that's it i hope you guys understand the concept i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to leave in the comments thank you